Hello everyone, it is good to be coming to you here at the beginning of the third week of Lent. I hope that these video devotionals have proven fruitful for you and I'd like to uh, offer another reflection um, from our Lenten devotional that hopefully you've been able to use as a guide, as a tool, as a help throughout this season of Lent. Today I'd like to read for you a poem that's found in that devotional by Sarah R. entitled Flipping Tables. I'd like to read it now and offer some reflection, and I hope that you can spend a few moments with this poem and uh, do some reflecting of your own. So, let's read together. I woke up and realized I was sitting at a table that oppression built. The patriarchy made the food, cheap labor sewed the tablecloth, and the guest list was exclusive. Fear was the host. And the people seemed happy, but the food tasted awful. Because milk and honey are reserved for God's promised day. So hold on to your silverware, because now that I see it, I can't unsee. This table is about to be flipped. You know, such powerful words, such powerful imagery, that when I read, I can't, I can't help but find myself sitting at an actual table. I don't know that if your brain works that way, the way that mine does when I read things like this that are so descriptive. Um, and I think what actually sticks out to me the most is the very first three words that say, I woke up. And as the author, after she wakes up, she goes on to, to realize that her eyes are now open to so much injustice that um, is around her. Maybe injustice that she had been um, in and amongst uh, for quite a long time. You know, for me, Lent is a reminder, and you know, the title of our Lenten theme again and again is so helpful for me. You know, every year it comes back around, and every year we're reminded of things that um, have gone by, things that have continued, things, uh, injustices um, that either we have allowed to happen or our eyes are opened to that we didn't realize were happening. And through all of that, the promise of Easter looms large. Through all of the injustice around us, we remember that the table is about to be flipped, that Jesus is coming, that Jesus in his radical, odd way, his way of justice, his way of including the outsider, all of that is going to triumph over the injustice, that the table is going to be flipped. So friends, I would invite you to spend a, a little bit of time with this poem to reflect on it for yourself and see and listen for the voice of God. It's a pleasure to be with you and we hope that you'll continue to join us for these devotionals and we are wishing you uh, a very blessed day.